Good afternoon. I welcome everybody back to part two this week. For those interested, please refer to part one, where we spoke about the trending of the disease, which has been positive, and also the status of vaccination. In part two, we're going to talk about an important treatment modality, monoclonal antibodies. That's one of the reasons that our hospitalization, the mortality rate is so much lower. You've heard a lot about monoclonal antibodies. There's a lot of institutions beginning to use these medications to help reduce people who have serious disease. Well, Dorsan Hospital has actually been using monoclonal antibodies since back at the very beginning of January. We stepped up a program back about six or seven weeks ago where any patient uh, referred in from one of our community physicians or any patient seen in the ED who was thought to be an appropriate candidate for monoclonal antibodies was able to get this infusion within 24 hours. These drugs are specifically designed for high-risk patients for whom there's a concern that the disease may really progress. There's been a nationwide trial called the BLAZE trial, which reduced mortality, uh, reduced, I'm sorry, hospitalizations from 20% to 4.2%. Our local experience is just the same. For those patients who receive monoclonal antibodies, over 250 patients to date, we have a hospitalization rate of only 4.7%. So very clearly, these drugs work in helping prevent complications of the disease. And we're really proud of our program, which has mirrored some of the best benchmark results in the country.